Hello and welcome to another episode of Kaz V Scale Railroad. Today we're going to take a look at the Inland Steel Industrial Complex, how it came about, and some details and overview. The inspiration for the Inland Steel Industrial Complex is based on a real place. If you look at Google Maps and look just south of Chicago on Lake Michigan, you'll see a large massive industrial area, steel mills, and all the supporting type industries that that go into it. I thought it would be a great place to model because it has a lot of rail activity concentrated into a relatively small area. So the first thing I did was to make a conceptual rendering of how I could take the prototype and scale it back to a fun layout size. I could also think about what industries I wanted to use and how they could work together. Now here's the bird's eye view of the entire layout. The Inland Steel Industrial Complex appears on the lower right hand side of the layout. Now let's take a closer look at it. Overall I have about 16 or 17 focused areas of rail activity. Okay, I'm going to start off in the lower left hand corner. First we have the power plant. The power plant gets coal from the coal yard and uh, powers the entire complex. Above that is the steel plant number three, part of four different steel plants. Above that is uh, steel plant number four. And above that is the oil refinery which will handle all the fuels needed for everywhere on the layout. Coming back down uh, at the top is the iron ore yard and then below that is the scrap yard which will get scrap from all the different plants and process them. Then below that is steel plant number one and below that is steel plant number two and below that is the intermodal yard which interacts with the inland rail ferry so uh, containers can come in and out through that port. Above the inland rail ferry is the is Portland cement and right um, adjacent to that is the water treatment plant and right adjacent to that is the sand yard and right above that is the coal yard and then to the left of that in the center of uh, the peninsula is the blast furnace which produces all the molten materials that gets made into steel. And lastly is the slag yard where byproducts from the blast furnace get shipped to. That completes the general overview of Inland Steel. Uh, I hope to make operational videos since each area of Inland Steel has multiple products coming in and out and most of them interact with each other. Uh, in the future, uh, uh, they'll interact with other parts of the layout as well. So all kinds of interaction can happen and a lot of uh, train operation fun. So until next time, thanks for watching.